before when you used to have a big butt, women were like, oh, my butt's too big and it wasn't fashionable. And now everybody wants a big ass, a big old butt. <laughs> and it's fashionable and big thighs and different things and bodies and women's bodies are changing and the way men, uh, people perceive them are changing. Oh, the bitch made it through. She made it through. She broke through the barrier. Hold on. There's a, there's a pressure being applied around here. It's a real pivot though, bitch. Uh, and breast and what have you, but sometimes to try to make yourself and put yourself in such a, uh, at risk with all the plastic surgery and things you have to go through just to get to that point. I mean, to me, it just conveys like you're not happy with yourself to a degree that just, I don't know who you want to try to be like, who you want to look like. When does it stop? At what point? In which all all of them are quite painful and dangerous. Even for me to have had my little nose done at some point, that, that kind of hurt. And I can only imagine trying to um, get your eyes done, your nose done, your lips done, injections here and all of that. It's just, it's to me, it's over dramatic. If people feel like they just need that, then so be it. But, you know, when you change your look so much, your ma own mama don't recognize you. Yeah. So maybe the way to approach you know um, surgery is like what, what one or two different maybe one or two is cool well i can't you know tell people how many surgeries to have or what they're looking for what they're trying to achieve yeah. but at some point when you just i mean how 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 far away from your normal natural looks do you want to get the looks were just didn't even look normal natural and she has gone to that point. Cause you're chasing after something yeah. within yourself that you're not comfortable with your own body and your own skin that you want to look like or be like somebody else whom I don't know. You out of your fucking mind? Are you out of yours? When do you start treating me like a hoe? She's my wife. And what the fuck am I? Someone whose ass I took out of the fucking department stores. Ain't that what you wanted? You said. You said. No one's gonna hurt you no more. Look, this fucking recording studio ain't big enough for all that personal shit. What do you see in her that you don't see in me? I wanna know. You're my fucking artist. All right? You're my fucking artist. Because you're chasing after something. She's had several surgeries. And why she thinks that she has to have her, her behind spread from a size 36 to a 42 or whatever. And why, and if she really thinks that's attractive, yeah. then, I mean, it, it is what it is. Yeah, but to me, I was shocked. I was in shock. I was in shock by her ham hocks. I hadn't seen her in a while. But I've known her from, not knew her, but seen her when she was younger, pretty, natural, normal. And to see her looking like she did coming down those steps, my mouth dropped. I couldn't believe that was her because I had seen some other pictures of her as she was transitioning into this whole other being and person, whoever she was trying to be. And I thought, you know, it's kind of like with Michael Jackson, you know, he was such a cute, nice boy. And he got to a point where he had a little surgery, but he looked fine and great. But then he went above and beyond the looks where it just didn't even look normal, natural. And she has gone to that point. I don't know. Everybody's different. My whole thing is to say why, because now, well, of course, we know now certain people put big butts on the map.